In Mindful Finances news, hmm. submitted to uh, was submitted by Too Much Kool Aid, the Japanese money saving technique called Kakibo. I don't know. If I said that right. Kakibo. Kakibo can exactly. help you get your finances together. <laughs> Kakibo. I don't even know, and I'm Japanese. Kakibo. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm surprised it's not called Pokemon. Gotta catch a Ka mall. Dollars. Sounds very similar. Kakibo. 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 Let me see. Oh, Bukake. Kakebo. 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 Oh, yeah. duh. Kakebo. Kakebo. Yeah. So, that's what that is. Ka -ka and it translates to, or do you know what it translates to? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it translates as household financial ledger. That's from that one word? Wow. Yeah. What they'll do is, the reason why it's hard to understand it is they'll take parts of a word and combine it together to make uh, one word. That's efficient. So it's well, that's what they efficient. do in Chinese characters too, right? Yeah, so if in, in English it would be like fucking... Um, a paragraph. Uh, <coughs> like an axe would probably be called like stick blade strong thing. Uh, oh, we just call it an axe. Or some shit like that. You know, like it's like they're they're combining a bunch of sounds that's not the whole word. Yeah, sure. so Kakebo, Kakibo, it was invented in 1904 by a woman named Hani Motoko, who's notable for being Japan's first female journalist. And so this is a simple, no frills approach to managing your finances. And- Tell that to my parents. <clears throat> Well, mm -hmm. they, they, they do kakibo? It. Nope. Mm. They were the worst Japanese on earth. They <laughs> so fucking, they love to spend. They sure love to spend. Weren't they both artists too? Yeah. Yeah, see? So I'll do it. Yeah. They went against their whole culture. Yep. Yeah. There are types in all cultures. There, there it is. Yep. So, no, it's the Asian way thing. you do this, <laughs> the way you do this method is, or the whole purpose of it is to be mindful of what you're spending. So they are saying that you must ask yourself, first of all, you have to write down every single item that you're purchasing and like by like physically writing it with like a pen and paper, writing it down and that causes you to be fully mindful. aware of what you're spending your money on. It's like tracking your macros before mm. money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not even digitally, like you have write to it write it. Yeah. Instead of just swiping a card, you have to be very conscious that you like actually spent money today. And you have to ask yourself these questions and there are a few, so bear with me. Can <coughs> I live without this item? Yes. Based on my financial situation, can I afford it? No. Will I actually use it? No, never. Do I have the space for it? No. How did I come across this in the first place? Did I, I see it in a magazine? Did I come across it after wandering in a gift shop out of boredom? So it's not it. impulse. Yeah. What is my emotional state in general today? Am I calm, stressed, celebratory, feeling bad about myself? Horny. How do I feel about buying it? Am I happy, excited, indifferent? Happy. And how long will right this, will this feeling last? Well, it lasts forever. So this is for impulsive spenders. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah. So um, also, uh, more like Kakibo themed strategies. How come Neo didn't get Kakibo downloaded to his brain for during the Matrix? <laughs> You don't, don't need money in the Didn't have money, yeah, in the, in the, yeah. But there's, uh, isn't there other strategies too about how to put a percentage away and how to like only spend this much on like living expenses and shit well, like that? Well, for this specific thing, it's more about like being aware and being mindful of, of what you're of spending. What you're spending. Yeah. yeah, so then, um, so then the other thing, the other list here that I have, like it's the strategies is number one, leave the item for 24 hours. This highlights whether you genuinely uh, want or need it. If you're still thinking about the item the next day and can afford it, then make the purchase. You'll feel a greater sense of satisfaction about your decision. Ooh, I do that with online shopping because whenever it's like a sale from a store that I really love, I go put a bunch of items in my cart because I just like the feeling of shopping. And then I leave it and usually I forget about all those items, but if there's like something that I can't Forget like I really want that, then I'll go back and buy it. I do that for I do it for a month. We only get like one package to our house. I spread out the packages <laughs> so it feels like I'm getting more presents. <laughs> she doesn't. It's not good for the the packaging no, it's, it environment. Always, what? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's not good for the packaging environment. <laughs> yeah, that's packaging. What I'm saying. You're on timeout. The other work. packages get sad. <laughs> <laughs> the environment gets very up. You know what I meant? Negative. I know what you meant. Like the, You're the on timeout. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the transportation, the logistics we can of it all. Individual humans don't even come close to what companies do, bro. It's fine. I, I do that for like a month. Because I, I realize like I can get emotional and stay in an emotional state for like a few days yeah. straight. So one day, like sleeping on it for one day is not enough. 
If I if oh. I if I wait like thirty days, because you obsess about the item for yeah. months. Yeah, I'll research and I'll do it. Like, and then that's when you pay eighty dollars for next day shipping. Exactly. <laughs> because I know that about myself. I'm like, I gotta sleep on things for a month. Yeah. And then after a month. If you I still the want it, then I know. But then I, I go I based gotta... off percentages, right? So it also depends on how much you personally earn. So for example, let's say if you make a thousand dollars a month, right, and, and you're fucking impulse buying five hundred worth of things every month, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, fifty percent yeah. of your income. Yeah, yeah. But let's say if you make a million dollars a month and you're going crazy every month on like you know, stupid shit that you're buying, but it's only like costing you 2,000 a month. That's a really small percentage of yeah. your total income. So that's what I go based off. Well, it's it's also like, but if it. you need it though, because like if you're like just collecting things just to like, you have a bunch of shit in your house, like that's not True. good for your house. And but it's not, but it's good for the economy and, and there's other reasons. I mean, it's like, go ahead, do what you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But to be financially responsible, I think that's a better method for me. Yeah, percentages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just have to find the method for yourself because like the person like writing organized. this, this helps like live most. below your yeah. means and people's means are all over the place because I, I like organized chaos right because i don't like limitations and i don't want to think like that when i go to vegas i want to play no i'm and with I don't, you yeah so i'm like okay well let me create a system where i don't regret this later so you but i can also first and you just base off of that instead of like yeah. every moment every decision you're being limited exactly do you know about this youtube channel called graham stefan yeah he's fucking awesome Dude, he's great he's but right when now. you watch like what he spends his money on yeah. and he's like i live way below my means and he buys like trash food it's really bad and i'm like oh well you know I, and he makes fun of people that buy starbucks every day but i'm like no i want to raise my means to like a couple starbucks but that's every his day style, yeah. and i know there's guys two like different that, camps they're like extreme couponers right yeah, they yeah. get off on saving money mm -hmm. and that's really fun to them and i don't think they get the same pleasures that we do when we consume products that we enjoy yeah. there's just some things that i i sporge on like i like bottle service i gotta get bottle service <laughs> <laughs> You should, get, you should splurge on some water what? bottle service. So you're yeah. saying that I should do like half bottle service. It's like, no, no. just give me half of it. <laughs> I guess. Okay. You should get a water subscription for Sparklets. I don't yeah, even know what that service. is. He's talking about the club. The when bottle I'm in the service. club. Is bottle service means? I didn't know what he's talking about, oh, but okay. she said I water bottle joke. service. Oh, yeah. my joke. Yeah. And they're behind. Okay, okay, See? okay. You gotta, you gotta be, because we're Maybe talking about what's fast. happening. I'm that fast. You are. I heard her, I'm on her. Thank you. You are fast, you are fast. You just don't drink. So uh, yeah. speaking about sales, that's the second strategy that they put in this article. So number two is don't let blowout sales tempt you. So for this person, they write, I used to be a sucker for big sales, but that often meant spending money on items I knew I wouldn't use. So for each item that you have in your basket during a sale, ask yourself whether you would buy it if it were, if it were full true. price. True, was it on sale? Fuck yeah. yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah, if it's Christmas time and me and Nikki are Michaels, we are fucking it up because that's a 50% off sale. Yeah, oh, and mm -hmm. I would normally buy that. We destroyed Michaels. What do you Michaels? get at Michaels? Like arts and crafts shit? Oh, yeah. I never see you do crafts. Oh, wait, she oh. does. No, 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 it's decorations. Oh. Oh, oh, that was for a sketch, but... No, 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 I'm talking about last year. Huh. When we didn't have any Christmas decorations oh, and we got our house for the true, first time, true, true, true. we destroyed it. Yeah, Michael. yeah, yeah. We got it like during <laughs> Halloween time and we like got like <laughs> so much Christmas shit. Yeah, That's we fun. fucked oh, it is up. That the is that yeah, the, yeah. That the spot? Either before, like way before or way after Christmas is when you. We fucked it up so hard they had to call the bomb squad and then they had to call them off. Don't get their video flagged. You can't say a bomb? No, it's like an airport in here, a YouTube <laughs> <laughs> environment. All right, good to know. Well, all right, next one. No. Oh, okay. I think she's joking. She's okay. joking because her channel got fired. My channel got demonetized. You know about my channel got demonetized for being a firearms channel, a DIY firearms channel. What? In what? The, world? Yeah, the whole channel? Yeah, and I got so departed and I got removed from my network. How? Oh my god! Because I thought I was selling firearms and teaching people how to build but, bombs. But Why are you doing they that? Won't, they don't know. It's just because she's hot. I think. The the robots <laughs> just flagged it for. So you can't get it back. No, I got it back, but because <laughs> you're the bomb, Nikki. YouTube's like, <laughs> YouTube thinks that uh, YouTube doesn't know why it happened. My audience was like, maybe because you always say your food's the bomb, because it's like literally cooking videos. Oh, uh, do you think you do you say that? Yeah, but the, not YouTube's all like the that's time. not why. It's not a catchphrase. Yeah. I don't and, know. They do. And listen. you can have firearms channels. You just can't be selling firearms or don't teaching people it. how to build them. Why did they? Why did they? The algorithm did it. Uh, algorithm. Obviously, it's that damn it Tasty not. Tuesday, man. It's lucky. I teaching people how to make socket bombs. That's what it is. Huge shout out to Philip DeFranco. Thank you for helping yeah, me. Yeah, thank you for helping, Phil. Sweet. And Keemstar. And Scarce. Yeah. Oh, they all they helped all you? Helped? They all helped. Uh, yeah, the community rose up. I was impressed. Nice. Uh, so That's cool. People, no one helped me, awesome. but keep going. Yeah, well. Well, you're, you're a fitness guru. <laughs> I'm not a fitness guru. Uh, since when? Go to your Instagram. 
Yeah, I what just the like fuck to, are you talking about? I just like to work about? out. How are you not a fitness person? Do you you won't accept it, but you are. You own a gym and you don't want to accept the fact. I'm a clown. Your shit's like what? 90% He's lifting. He's like, I'm a funny fitness person. <laughs> He's like, I have a goal this year. I'm doing a marathon. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run it in a funny way. That's true. He has more fitness posts than clown posts. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to run it in a very funny and, way. Listen, you're putting an image out, and then you're rejecting your own image. It's like when girls are have like booby photos, and they're like, I'm a comedian. Exactly like that. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's horny. Yeah, that's horny. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Well, um, do more bringing shit. it back to these. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, fun fact about Japan, though, like they're so scared of debt, like the citizens there, that it's a it's a pretty cash heavy society. So everyone has that's a fucking actually on savings. The list. That was, yeah. that was the next one oh, I was going to Well, say. let me let you do it then. No, Sorry, no, you, can. Okay. you can. Okay. Well, the it's it's so bad to the point where the banks aren't making money and they're having a hard time giving out loans. Mm. So you could get a mortgage out there for like 0.01%. Holy wow. shit. So, so I'm just exaggerating, but it's it's like less than a percent. Can we get a loan over there and buy a house over here? No, it has to be there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. They thought of that, I guess. That would help, their, that would help them. True. Yeah, well, people aren't getting loans is the problem. Mm. So, but I mean, that's how loans we made, from them, that would, that would help exactly them. Exactly right Talk there. to the government, Joe. Tell them. Yeah, I mean, they that, that would be a better idea. Bro. I'll put my money in your bank. You give me loans. That's true. I think that's my larceny theory. or something. <laughs> it sounds like we're creating a crime. <laughs> You said a big word that I don't know what it means, so I'll believe you. It's a, sorry, I didn't even use it right, but it's fine. It just sounds cool. I just thought of Brie Larson when you said that. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like Joe said, spend in cash is one of the strategies because physically handing over cash rather than just mindlessly mm. swiping your card makes you more conscious of what you're spending. Have you heard of those envelope systems? Yeah. Mm -mm. Those are like really big right now where you have like an envelope for rent, you have an envelope for, you budget oh. it, all, it all out and then you have cash in those envelopes mm. so you can physically see when your budget is running dry. That's dope. Oh. oh, see, I got this pain in the ass Ridge wallet that it's hard, I can't get my cards out. Are you ever. sponsored by them? Why am I calling them a pain in the ass? Oh, yeah, the, way, oh, yeah. the way that he said uh, pain in the ass Ridge wallet. Well, uh, I didn't even know that was the name of the wallet until she brought that up. It's kind of a pain in the ass because only because I can't get my money out no, of it. No, people will remember it and they'll be like, I can't remember if he said it was a pain in the ass no. or really good. And no, what he's trying to say is that he really likes it because it makes him save money. Right. Because it's thank hard you, to get right? your money out. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Wait, you just said thank you, bitch, or thank you, Ridge? I, I said thank you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, bitch. <laughs> he calls her a bitch. 